My name is Danny Stout, Senior Solutions Consultant with TIBCO. I'd like to speak with you about risk modeling with advanced analytics. At TIBCO, we have a comprehensive analytics strategy. From being able to visualize analytics utilizing Spotfire through advanced analytics capabilities with both Statistic and Spotfire data science, as well as streaming analytics with Streambase, we have a comprehensive strategy to meet every analytic need. These platforms allow us to use predictive analytics in a way that's easy to utilize and consume. We can also collaborate and share across the enterprise. This includes the ability to access and prepare any data anywhere. With these platforms, we can combine rules and analytics to arrive at the optimal solution for your business. This solution is open, flexible, and extensible, incorporating open source technologies, including R, Python, or Spark Scala. Within this whole framework, we maintain the highest levels of security and governance, and make these analytics available real time. Here at TIBCO, we have solutions across every vertical. We're going to focus on finance and insurance for this discussion, in particular for risk management. Risk modeling is a comprehensive strategy for developing and evaluating and monitoring risk across many domains. Within this one topic of risk modeling, we're incorporating everything from data prep, including advanced topics such as weight of evidence, uh, utilizing V-fold cross-validation if needed. We also need to assess predictor importance utilizing statistics such as information value. And after we arrive at data that's ready for modeling, we want to use technologies such as logistic regression or other data mining technologies to arrive at a risk score that we can then utilize and consume. Risk modeling is used for much more than credit risk though. Credit risk is what we think of when we think of risk modeling, but also insurance, are claims fraudulent? What about marketing? Is a contact that you're working on likely to produce a sale? What about medicine? Is a patient likely to be readmitted to the hospital? Or churn analysis? Is a customer likely to leave or stay? There are also many steps in risk modeling. We spoke about data preparation, such as feature selection and attribute building, which is weight of evidence, as well as modeling, evaluation of those models, and monitoring those models, as well as deploying them to the larger enterprise. How do we do this with TIBCO? Let's start with exploration. We want to view the data that's available in whatever data source that we have access to. Whenever we have access to this data, we can look at the distribution of people who have satisfied their credits, as well as for people who have not satisfied their credits. We can then dig and explore the different characteristics and attributes of these previous customers, such as the length of time of employment or what their balance of current account is. After we get an initial view and understanding of the data, we want to utilize some advanced modeling to figure out what properties of that data lend themselves most to either good credit or bad credit in this instance. Here you'll see that we're looking at the full data source. But what if we were to select a certain population of the data? We would want to see these advanced statistics recalculated based upon the selection that we've made within our Spotfire DXP. This incorporates new technology available by Statistica 13.4. With Statistica, we have the ability to leverage models under tight security and governance and pass data directly through those analyses into our DXP. So let's look at the workspace that we're currently utilizing you'll see that we have a workspace that has our historical credit data, some descriptive statistics and data prep functionality, but also feature selection. This is where we're able to calculate predictor importance across data sets. 
through Spotfire's ability to leverage Statistica workspaces. We can now parameterize individual DXPs such that data selected within the DXP is passed directly to the Statistica workspace. The Statistica workspace calculates the new updated predictor importance statistics and those are reflected into the DXP. This is very advanced technology made available across platforms utilizing TIBCO Connected Intelligence. Statistica incorporates a wide range of statistical methodologies as well as data preparation capabilities. One of those is weight of evidence. We need to optimally bin our predictors such that the greatest differentiation is between good credit and bad credit. You'll see that we're looking at amount of credit in our historical data set. Utilizing weight of evidence, we are going to optimally calculate bins that do the best job at differentiating between good credit and bad credit across the data set. And you'll see that I've done that both for amount of credit and age in this example. After we've optimally binned all of the predictors available for creating models, we then want to create different models and be able to assess which model performs the best. With Statistica, we again have the capability of leveraging over 16,000 native functions within Statistica in order to create these models. So I will look at my model development workspace. And in this model development workspace, you'll see that I'm again leveraging that historical credit data. I'm utilizing our rules engine to apply weight of evidence coding to the data. As we process the data utilizing these stored rules, we will then get the weight of evidence coded values for all the data. Once we have those weight of evidence coded values, we can then pass them through algorithms such as logistic regression, recursive partitioning algorithms such as CART, as well as machine learning algorithms, including stochastic gradient boosting or boosted trees. Once we have these models built, we can then pass those results utilizing the integration between Statistica and Spotfire Data Science, as well as Spotfire, to be able to compare the performance of these models. So you'll see in this example, we have our testing data set and training data set. What we want is for the evaluation of misclassification costs as well as a confusion matrix to be equal or as equal as possible between the training data set and the testing data set. And if we look at the confusion matrix for logistic regression, you will see that in identifying bad credit pick, uh, cases in the training data set, we have 69%. In the testing data set, we have 68%. This is relatively close, something that is ideal utilizing uh, a training and testing data set. You'll see for this example, we have logistic regression, CART, boosted trees, but also an ensemble model. Utilizing Statistica's rapid deployment node, we can calculate a ensemble result based upon any sequence of models. After we've evaluated our different models, we want to look at how they perform across our data set. So we've used logistic regression, CART, and boosted trees. We've applied our models to these data, and we've sorted all of our cases in descending order of predicted probability for being good credit. What we can then do is see in our original data set, what is the distribution of good credit and bad credit in a certain selection. So now we can assess what is a good cutoff point for either granting or denying credit based upon individual models and the implications of that cutoff point. And finally, after we've arrived at the final model and the cutoff point, we want to be able to assess risk across all of our data. In this example, you'll see that we can look at risk by state and we can see that Alabama has the highest risk and some of the lowest risk would be in Nebraska or in uh, Minnesota or Wisconsin. We can also look at breakdown of risk by individual attributes as well. 
So if we're looking at risk by amount of credit, we'll see where we have the lowest risk and highest risk. In order to deploy in real time models onto data this large, we want to utilize technologies such as Spotfire Data Science. In Spotfire Data Science, we have the ability to leverage in database analytics so that we are able to take a model and score against very large amounts of data in near real time. We can then take those models, leveraging Statistica's ability to incorporate both Statistica and Spotfire Data Science, Utilizing our Spotfire Data Science import node, we can leverage our connection to Spotfire Data Science and then incorporate those results into our DXP. With TIBCO, we have the capability of utilizing advanced analytics to solve risk needs.